Bilirubin is produced as a byproduct of the replacement of old blood cells with new blood cells. The liver is responsible for breaking bilirubin down into a form that can be excreted. Elevated levels of bilirubin in the blood, hyperbilirubinemia, leads to jaundice, yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes, and indicates liver problems. Many babies experience jaundice during the first week of life. Adults can also experience elevated levels of bilirubin as a result of liver conditions. Treatments differ between babies and adults with bilirubin. By learning more about the effects and causes of bilirubin in both adults and babies you will be able to best identify and treat the condition. Lowering bilirubin levels in infants. Evaluate your infant's risk factors for hyperbilirubinemia. The factors that lead to high levels of bilirubin can be hereditary, environmental, or related to other health conditions. Feed your baby frequently. Your doctor may recommend feeding an infant with jaundice up to 12 times a day. Ask your pediatrician about phototherapy. Phototherapy involves exposing the infant to light in the blue-green spectrum. The light waves pass through the baby's body and into the blood, where it converts the bilirubin into materials that the baby's body will be able to excrete. Consider using a bila blanket. The bila blanket is an advanced, fiber-optic based phototherapy treatment. Discuss other treatments with your doctor. If the jaundice is caused by an infection or other medical problem, such as increased breakdown of red blood cells, your doctor may recommend other treatments such as medications or even a blood transfusion. Lowering bilirubin levels in adults. Assess your health to identify conditions that can elevate bilirubin levels in adults. The bilirubin production system can run into trouble at one of three points, before, during, and after bilirubin production. See a doctor. If you have jaundice, you will want to have your bilirubin levels checked. Jaundice can be an indication of a serious health issue. Usually, your doctor will work to find and treat the cause of your jaundice and treat any complications of the jaundice. The jaundice itself is not usually treated. Sometimes a medication may be given to help with itching, which is a common symptom of jaundice. Verify that the person affected with high levels of bilirubin does not have a rare medical condition. A number of uncommon medical disorders can lead to elevated bilirubin and jaundice. Limit your alcohol consumption. Alcohol can damage the liver, which leads to increased bilirubin levels, so limit your consumption to the recommended daily allowance, 1-2 drinks per day depending on your age. Some people may be advised to completely eliminate alcohol consumption. Maintain a healthy weight and diet. Studies have shown that obesity can be more damaging to the liver than alcohol consumption. Obesity can lead to fatty liver, even in children. Protect yourself from hepatitis. Hepatitis A, B, and C are all viruses that negatively affect the liver. Exercise caution when taking medication. Be aware that some medications, including over-the-counter pain medication and common prescription drugs such as cholesterol-lowering drugs, antibiotics, and anabolic steroids, can cause toxic hepatitis. Talk to your doctor if you are unsure if you are taking medications that may be harming your liver. And that's it, put like for this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what video you would like to see next time. Goodbye.